Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 11 of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. In the previous episode, we started off by winning the 8 track race. We then completed the missions, uh, or two missions for OG Loke. We did management issues and house party, um, which we purchased some new clothes, so this is how we are looking right now. And uh, we completed the firefighter vehicle mission and purchased two properties in the south area of downtown. Now we're going to start at this episode by completing the next mission, which is Burning Desire, and it's the first mission for Crash, so let's get it started. Hey, Carl Johnson, CJ, oh, come on over here, son. Move over, let him sit down, asshole. So you finally found time to drop by. Man, I've been busy. I've been burying my moms, man. Sounds like a fucking excuse to me. Officer Pulaski thinks you're trying to screw with us, Carl. Now you get this straight. We own you. You're ours. We can shit on you from such a height, you'll think God himself has crapped on you. You understand? He better fucking understand. Yeah, he better have. Time to go to work, CJ, and earn your freedom. There's a guy holed up across town. You got that address, Pulaski? Another gang banging, drug pushing, cop killing bitch just like you. We don't like him, and he don't like us. Now you make sure he never leaves the neighborhood. Not even in a box. Now get the fuck out of here. All right, Ted Penny has hidden some Molotovs in an alleyway in downtown Los Santos. Pick up, pick them up. All right. Well, we've got a, we've been left a car. How convenient. All right. Well, we have Molotovs already. You know, some of us take the time to do some side stuff. You know, Ten Penny. But, yeah. Okay. So, looking for the corrupt cops. That sounds like a plan. Right. So this actually unlocks a dating feature. I'm not going to go too much into it. You'll see as we start it later. I'm not going to finish it. It's a bit like um, the gym thing in which you can only do a certain amount of it per day. So I'm going to probably do one instance of it on screen and um, the rest of it between this episode and the next. But we've got Maltos. Go to the gang house and torch it. So now to throw Molotovs, thank you very much. Okay. So why is it always the Grove Street families that seem to be doing all the dirty work for the cops? Do they do this with the Barlers and the Aztecas and the Vargos and stuff like that as well? Who knows? Hey, out of the way. Alright, here we are. Touch the house, throw motors into the fire downstairs windows, that'll make it burn. Alright, there's one. Burn, baby, burn. Okay. Okay, now we don't really need to worry so much about... Whoa! Oh shit. Okay, take two. Should have eliminated at least most people now. Now, of course, this becomes a lot easier with the um, fireproofness, which you get from, obviously, the finishing off the firefighter diversion. You just toss them straight in without uh, fear of dying, so it's fine. There we go. This is gonna burn to the ground. Burn! Burn. Oh. You tried to go inside the building. Uh oh, that's not good. 
Alright, I'm on my way. Go for lady. Don't you even. Not the time. Not the freaking time. Okay, I can't see shit, so... You'll have to excuse me for one moment. Right, it's a bathroom. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Up this way? Ah, yes, there it is. Okay, where are you? Where are you? You there? You okay? Yeah, but those flames! They're too hot! I'm scared! Hold on, it's probably a fire extinguisher in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Ah, so we're gonna do it anyway. Um, it's all well and good. I need to know where I'm actually going though. All right, quickly now. Where's it go? No. Did we get it? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, we did. All right, come on now. Let's go. Stand back. There. Oh god, I'm so scared! Oh. Oh my god, what was that? Hey, the building's starting to collapse. We gotta get out of here, fast! Um. Do we have to take a detour, Denise? Uh. Give me a second, girl, don't panic! Okay, come through. Give me a second, girl, don't panic. Okay, fire's out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Double time. Oh my. Watch yourself. Come on. Quickly! Quickly! I'm moving, I'm moving. Alright, come on, Denise. I know the game's not told us your name yet, but it's, you know, everybody knows what your name is. <laughs> okay, can we just make it out now? Or she gonna get stuck and then I'm like, mission failed, you didn't extinguish all the fires. What? I thought so, but at least it didn't fail. Right, where are you? Are we ready? Where'd you go? Come on. So Stop messing around. Come on, we can head out now, can't we? Can't we? Don't give me any of this business of leaving anyone behind. Okay. But no, she's out. Hey Good. man, I owe you my life. Ooh. Ooh la la. I was nearly dead there for sure. Hey, you look pretty shook up, girl. You want me to take you home? Yeah, please, thanks. Alright, alright, alright. Where you live? Just off Grove Street. No shit. What you doing in Vargo's hood? I like to live dangerously. You're CJ, right? Yeah, how you know me? Everybody in the Grove knows you and your brother. Well, I thought you'd run away. I never ran away, okay? I just needed to get away from shit. That's convenient. She just happens to live right nearby us. Okay. This is my place here. Hey, what's your name? Denise. Denise Robinson. Give me a call sometime. We should go out or something. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay, Denise. Okay, I'll catch you later, CJ. Catch you later. Off you go. And there we go. So we can actually just go ahead straight into the next thing, can we? Uh, now we need it to be uh, between 
4 and 6 a.m. So by I mean 4 p.m. and 6 a.m. It's not that tight a schedule. Um, now it's advisable that um, well, first of all, oh hello. What's up, sweet? We got a problem. So Booker has base and fool has a slang into his grove, brother. What? Who? Check this out. He's been buying shit over in Glen Park. He know the hood is talking, and he's hiding out with his new ball of friends. Shit, man. How we gonna get to him? It's time for you to not show return, CJ. <clears throat> you fuck up Glen Park, and that turncoat bitch ass nigga's gonna lose nerve and make a break for it. Okay, I'm gonna come pick you up. Hell no. This is your gig, CJ. You need some strikes. Get over to Army Nation and get a heater. Okay. So, yeah. Before we were rudely interrupted. Um, keep a hold of um, Ryder's car, the Picador, because this is going to boost our sex appeal. Um, to the highest it's going to be, as of yet, you know, we've got the best tattoos, um, outfits, and like, health, and like, uh, muscle and stuff like that. So we're at our peak at the, at the moment. So we're going to need one of those, so we're going to keep hold of that. And also make sure that you grab some flowers for her as well. So I... Whoa! 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 Whoa, did I just get carjacked? What the shit? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, I didn't know that could happen. Well, goddammit. Son of a bitch. Can't believe you just stole my car. <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, make sure you got the flowers. You can pick those up from random places, so... It's not too much of a worry. Also, if you can't find any, again, it's not mass massive effect. You can still... Obviously, max out your relationship and stuff. You don't need it per se, but okay. Hopefully, um, should be able to get Ryder's car back. If that spawn back in. You bumped into me, homie? No, Where'd damn it! From? All right, guys, we're back. Now it's not exactly Ryder's car. I didn't manage to find his. He didn't seem to want to respawn. But I just end up driving, end up finding random pedestrian driving ones. So it's equally fine. All right, let's go say hello to Denise. Check on our first date. What's up? Hey there, girl. I'm hungry. Let's eat. I'm down. Let's roll on that. Um. Watch yourself. Can we? Head up, you and me. Come on. What? You joking? Hey, hey, you did that, Mark. <laughs> I wanted to give her the flowers, not throw it in her face. Oh Jesus! Well, kind of ruined the first day there, didn't we? <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, press L1, not circle. <laughs> there we go. Oh CJ. All right, get in. We could give her a kiss, but uh, I think unless you're at twenty percent relationship level, it'll only reduce. Um, your relationship bar it needs to be at twenty percent. Okay, so a good place to take her, which is actually very convenient, is just around the corner of the ten green bottles. So let's take her in. Very convenient. But um, unlike in future games, you, you once you've reached a hundred percent with a girlfriend, you don't actually have to bother. Um, Continuously going on dates with them. It's so cause in GTA 4, they just keep on calling, and if you reject them, they say like you're busy or something, your bar goes down. So, thankfully, in this game, they're not as fussy. Let's tie her, take her home. Okie doke. Can you take me home, baby? I always been into gang banging. Wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think she's a little tipsy, she's she's not being very uh, private there, is she? Alright. Here we are, Denise. We should do this again. Bye, girl. Okay. So, um, yeah, we made a bit of progress. Now, if you 
Um, I think it's when you reach like 20% or something. She'll actually invite you in for coffee, which is the whole hot coffee shebang. Obviously, you don't actually get to do the hot coffee thing, but she does invite you in, and then you can boost your bar by, I think it's another 10% or 5%, something along those lines. But yeah, uh, that's something that I will do off screen, and we'll, by the time that we do the next episode, we'll be at 100% relationship, and I will show you the benefits that brings to. Okay, uh, next on the list is the next mission, which is Grey Imports, which is the second and last mission from Crash. So there's only two missions for these guys, so it's not so bad. But yeah, we've got quite a few missions back to back coming up, which is just going to help us in our quest to finish the Lost Santos chapter. So I believe this one takes us back to the Donut place, which is where we obviously did the last mission. So let's get over there. But yeah, um, other places that are good for dating Denise, or you can like change some bits around. You can just go driving around the neighborhood and let her shoot at ballers, or you can take a dancing at the Alhambra. So yeah, those are the two other things that she likes doing, obviously. So. Alright, let's start with the next mission. Carl! Dang! Where are you off to? Shit! Where are you running off to, Carl? I thought we were friends. Yeah, whatever. As an officer in charge of putting an end to gang violence, I find myself in a difficult moral position, Carl. Yeah, right. Carl, I'm hurt. I truly am. And just as I was about to help those poor Grove Street boys. Oh, yeah? How? I like the status quo, Carl. I like having all you bastards doing my job for me, blowing each other's guts all over the side. Dumb bastards. Now, if it's brought to my attention that one tribe gets an unfair advantage over another, that truly troubles me, Carl. So what you saying, man? I'm saying the ballers have brains, Carl. They watch the news. I'm saying they're making friends, cutting deals, and tooling up for more than half-assed drive-bys. Lots of cheap guns coming into America since the fall of the wall, Carl. Man, cut that bullshit, Tim Penny. Just say what you mean, man. Go check out a busy freight warehouse down the Docklands, and you'll see what I mean, Carl. Yeah, okay. Y'all take care now. For sure. Alright, go to the docks where the balls and the Russians are making a deal. Oh, we cannot be having that, can we? I'm going to need a car, so if you're going to lose mine, then I'm going to need another one here. <sighs> Away with you. I don't care. I'm doing a job for your boss, you know. <laughs> Alright. Let's head over there. Double time, double time. Speed things up a little. Alright. Head down this away. The docks are yes, where we, where the docks always are. Just double checking. Okay, so after this, um, I know that we've got a few more missions for Sweet, and I think that's the um, the end of the chapter. Obviously, with the final mission of this section called the Green Saber. We all know what that one entails. You shan't be hearing no spoilers from me. Alright. Can crash through this wall. Oh, well, never mind. I guess the bike. <laughs> the bike chose a different way. It works for me fine. Okay. Oh, stop, mess stop messing me around, game. Just take it to my place. Alright, okay, the one star nos rides is seriously taking the mick. <laughs> it's not needed. Alright. The Russians and the bars are, make are having a meeting inside the warehouse. Okay. You'll have to find some way inside. I'm just not just going shooting. Shoot some balls. I 
I'm fine with it. Okay. Let's see what I'm around. Right, good, I can see some armor up ahead. Good, because we're going to need it because I don't have any on me. Okay. Um. Hey, watch it. Hey, right, hang about. Let me go some distance. Haha, <laughs> it's supposed to be you. Gotta hurt. Okay. You in a whole lot of trouble, tough guy. Mm-hmm. Wait, what 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 what? What 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 what? Oh yeah, bitches! Hmm. Okay, I've got some more armor here. That's good. Hmm. Let's just make sure we're in a good position here. Hey, whoa, 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 do, do, do. Stop shoot at people, not the wall. What are you actually doing? Guy indestructible. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. Wow. Jeez, that dude's got some. He's got some. <laughs> Alright, well, that is the end of that mission, and that is the end of the um, crash missions for now. I mean, I know we do have some more in the future, but that's it for now. Um, okay, so the next thing is the next mission, which is for Sweet, which obviously we got from that phone call pr um, earlier. So let's head back over there, which is Doberman, which I know it unlocks um, a new mechanic that we're going to be ignoring for now, and um, I'll explain why when, when we get to it. So I'll just let the uh, mission play out first and then I'll discuss it. Where are we actually heading here? Oh, okay. I thought we were uh, going to be turning to the Johnson, you know, about to Grove Street, but I guess not. That's fine. What are you doing? If you're going to cross the road, make it bloody quick. It's not difficult. Alright. Oh, people don't pull out in front of me. Actually, you know what? Uh, if we going to drive straight past it, might as well pick up our money. Money, money, money. Alright, cool. Not much of a difference, but, you know, it builds up. It builds up. Really? Ooh, shit. What are you doing? Don't stop in the middle of the road, fool. That means I'm just going to, you know, balls up my wheelie and you're going to ruin everything for everybody. You know, some people. Typical. Typical people. Alrighty. Off the bike. Start the mission. This is ammunition. You can buy weapons and ammunition here.
This is Glen Park, which is Baller's territory. You must take out the enemy gang to gain this territory as your own. Yep, that's pretty much what this is. Introduction to Turf Wars. Uh, which is something that you can completely do on your own. You must claim by Bala's territory and take it over. You need a gun got ammunition. We're fine weapons wise. We've got we've just picked up some armor as well, so we're good. In that respect. Uh, but this is the only one that's gonna force you to turf wars. Once you do this you can then take over every gang territory in Los Santos. Um and I think once you've cleared out a particular gang they won't try and take down the old one. Um, so that's what you can do afterwards. The reason we're not going to be doing that is because, and I'm going to try and avoid spoilers here, so I'm not going to actually say why. But um, in a few episodes, in a few missions' time, we're going to we're going to end up losing everything that we've. Um, we're going to end up being kicked out of Los Santos, basically, uh, by the game, and. In that respect, we're shooting. So we need to shoot you. There we are. Provoked a gang war. Oh, sorry, wrong person. Um. So yeah, we're gonna end up being kicked out of Los Santos. Then we lo end up losing all of the territory that you can pick up. So um, we'll do it later. So the first wave. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do it later when um, our territory won't be reclaimed, so it's just saving time. I mean, it gets you money and um, weapon experience and stuff, but other than that, it's pointless. I mean, we're, we're fine money-wise at the moment. I've actually ended up picking up quite a lot from running through the inside track betting, so I don't really need it in particular. Right, fully stocked up. I think there's only three waves, so we should be all right. Just got one more to survive. You mort. And we're full on health as well, so that's good. Where are you? Come back. Ah, oh, look at you fools. You're running the wrong way. Hood is man. Yay. So that should be the end of the mission, I believe. The territory is now owned by the Grove Street families and is Mark Green on the radar. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to slow reader. Your gang members can now be found in this territory. So obviously it's also convenient if we're doing like collectibles and stuff and you don't fancy the ball shoots at you. Which is just slightly inconvenient in the form that um, <laughs> we've already done all the collectibles. The territory will come under constant attack from enemy gangs and you must defend it. That is, unless you take over the, the entirety of the gang. When the attack takes place, the territory will flash red and an icon will be placed on the radar. So if you remember back in St. Tro and St. Tro 2 with the um, pushbacks, this is where it came from. You will gain respect and money from, for taking over territory. The money will appear in Grove Street. So it appears as a bit like the um, courier service at the old place. Tenpenny, set me up! Who's this? You flush the grass out. Kill him. And there we go. So yes, the territory is green now. Let me just show you the map. So, um, these are the areas we can take over at the moment. So we've obviously, we've, Grove Street's already green. Um, this is like a different territory of sorts down there. I believe it's just these areas that you can take over. I think all the rest of these are all, well, there's obviously there's segments around the place. Um, I want to zoom out, thank you. Yeah, so up like north in the countryside, there's nothing to be taken over. This is, um, yeah, the Temple temple families, Temple Street families. Um, and then this is, down, down here is the um, Seville Boulevard. Families, so it's, it's showing green because it's the family's territory, but um, Grove Street only on Ganton and Glen Park so far. 
And of course we could take over everywhere for ourselves, I think, except for the other um, families, districts, which I think we end up gaining as part of a mission um, soon. But, uh, yeah, we're not going to end up doing that in this episode at least. Um, so yeah, so we're going to skip right over Turf Wars. We're going to buy some houses. Um, so yeah, should you need 30k again now, so if you if you still need that, then go get it. But like I said, we're perfectly fine with that. So we've got three properties left, Jefferson, Elkron, and Willowfield. So, right, so we're getting Jefferson first, seeing as we're right here. So let's grab it. There we pop. Very good. So they're all, um, they're 10k a piece. Don't know if this will be any different from any of the last ones that we've been to, but let's just quickly go and check it out. Oh, no, it is a little bit different. So there's a save icon in the bathroom, bedroom. Kitchen, yeah, pretty much the like the generic um, place that we robbed in the you know the burglary side job thing, you know what I mean. All right, uh, so the next one I want to buy is in El Corona, which is down here. Let's go grab that. So this will be the last thing we do in the episode, then off screen I'll do the dating, the, the finish off the dating Denise Robertson, show you the bonuses we get, one of them is actually quite good, and um, oh, you's a genius. then we'll carry on with the main story, which I think at this point, other than like um, a couple of miscellaneous stuff, is pretty much just missions now for the remaining chapter. Oh, and the ammunition challenge as well, I just remembered, so. But, uh, like I said, not a lot of stuff. It's uh, just going to be pretty much quick and easy bits and bats now. So, I'd say the hard part of the chapter is way over. Right. Okay, going to abandon the ambulance. Can I hop the wall? No, damn it. <laughs> They've hopped a little prematurely. Okay. Just grab this place. Come over the fence. Over, over the fence. Over the fence. Thank you. All right, let's grab this for another ten, ten k. Let's check this place out. Probably going to be exactly the same as the last one. No doubt. Okay. Oh, no, never mind. It's the same as the ones before, though. <laughs> the ones that we got in the last episode. Um, okay. Well, that's that. And then, finally, we want to go to Willowfield. Which is... This one. In Ballas Territory. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Love Ballas Territory. I need a car. Why are there no cars down here? Seriously. I think there's one just popping at the end there, isn't there? Well, I'll snag that one then. Alright, how's about that? Yeah, right out of the way. Okay. So actually the, um... Who's... Why am I in the police thing? The next thing we're actually going to do is the ammunition challenges. So actually be the first thing that we do in the next episode. After the, uh... Denise thing. Okie doke. Just crash into everything that you want, CJ. It's fine. That's what I wanted you to do, anyways. Come on now. What are you doing? Fool, you need to learn to drive. Your driving skill is an abomination. Okay, I don't fancy getting into a scrap with the ballers, so if I could do this relatively quickly, that'd be just fine by me. Okay, okay. Buy it. Buy it. Okie doke. Very good. And that's the end of that. So, yeah, once again, this is the same as the first one in uh, Jefferson. Let's just get rid of the marker. 
All right, and let us make a save because we are done diddly on for the episode. So, save over that one. Yes. Okay. So, let's look at our stats. Um, yeah, that's how everything's looking. I don't think anything would have changed, really. Um, so, let's look at missions. So, missions past 31 now. Uh, have we done anything else, really? Um, I don't know where uh, Denise <laughs> might be in player, actually. Or like Denise's relationship bar. That'd be at the bottom of here. Couldn't remember girlfriends, dated, successful dates, disastrous dates. Yeah, that's because I punched her in the face. <laughs> accidentally, accidentally. That'd be out of context if you didn't watch the episode. It won't tell me which button to press. Does it not say? Um, it, oh yeah, there we go. Progress of Denise, 6%. Well, you know. Probably would have been higher if we didn't, you know, sucker punch her, but there <laughs> Alright, I feel so bad, I, do, I really did not mean to do that, but whatever. Okay, so that's where we're going to end it for today. Like I said, in the next episode, well, between this and the next episode, we're going to bump that bar up to 100%. I'll show you the rewards. We'll get on with the ammunition challenges, and we'll probably get close to finishing up this chapter. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 12. Everything Bye, guys.